be on the beach at uh, East London for the start of the Diskim Peat Marlin. We have an unbelievably stacked field and a massive turnout of 260 paddlers for this uh, 12th edition of the race. This really is the showcase of what Sersky paddling is all about for South African paddling with uh, the top field, great prize men offer, beautiful sponsors and a beautiful stunning coastline that we're going to be paddling down today. Some of the very, very best in the country, all of them here and in terms of the world too. So it's fantastic to have those elite paddlers with us too. We're going to catch up with some of the paddlers now, brought to you by World Sersky League. A little bit of wind, very very excited, it's going to be an awesome awesome race. Defending champion, hoping to keep that title this year, so yeah, we'll see what goes. Going off down in that direction with the wind, we'll be finishing at Yellow Sands, and uh, yeah, the wind's picking up now, so it's, it's awesome. Big race, and yeah, I'm looking forward to it, I've definitely got a target on my back, so yeah, lots of nerves and ready to rumble. It's a highlight of the South African surf ski calendar, and I can highly recommend it to anyone that hasn't done it, international guys come over and come and do it it's a fantastic event you know we've got some great coastline here and somehow these guys just always seem to get the diamonds right I, I, I think it's very few opportunities that there's few races where there hasn't been a diamond here so in terms of surf ski racing and ocean racing ocean paddling uh, they get it right here it's fantastic I traveled all the way to South Africa about uh, 10,000 or so kilometers uh, to race this weekend in the Pete Marlin uh, looking forward to the singles race today the conditions are looking great uh, probably got 10 to 15 knots of uh, wind straight behind us, so it's a good uh, good distance at 22 k's. And looking forward to a hit out against probably some of the best paddlers in the world. leading the race quite comfortably. Um, good starts, good runs. I felt very confident, felt really good up until about 20 k's at Yellow Sand Reef. I took the tiger line and I ended up getting caught by a rogue set and got my boat washed in, I got washed in, then I tried to run to the finish and by then I was just sucked. So yeah, that was the end of my race. But you learn and you grow. Conditions were, they weren't ideal. I mean, we had to work for everything. So, um, but yeah, I sort of, sort of kept myself together until like five k's to go. Um, I could see yellows coming, and I was just sort of, just holding something back until it really got tough. And the last like three k's, I sort of just opened the taps and uh, you know managed to open up a gap on uh, on Kenny. It was, it was pretty neck and neck the whole way. We were definitely pushing each other. Uh, yeah, all we, we knew it would come down to the Nahoon point, or the, yeah, the Yellows point there. And just before there, he was yeah, kudos to him. He was really, really solid today and got, got the better of me just before there. 
I'm really stoked to back up my World Champs win today with a solid second here. So, yeah, stoked to come in behind a strong guy. Fortunately, uh, uh, came off uh, at Yellow Sands at the point that uh, got my number this year. Um, I was uh, getting a bit greedy, cutting it fine, and, and it wasn't even it wasn't even a bomb, it was just a little one. Like I just rode it in and I was sort of on the shoulder just milking it as far as I could and just rode it too far and it was just feathering and the, the, little, the little tip of the wave caught me and just pulled the boat over and, and, and off it went. I had a really good start. Milani, Kira and I took off from the get-go. Um, we were together. Kira opted for a deeper line. Milani and I hugged in a bit. Um, and then she kind of pulled away at around Ganubi. In the middle of the race, at about 13 k's in, Jenna started to pull up on us, Milani and I. Um, and we kind of stuck together right until the end here. I had a bit of a goth coming in. My boat went shooting into the sky. All the surfers got a bit of a fright. But overall, the race was really fun. It was really nice in the beginning with the wind, but the wind kind of died in the end, and the runs got a bit smaller and a bit more technical, which is kind of what I enjoy doing. So it worked in my favor, and I'm really happy to come away with it. We've got the doubles tomorrow, and I'm looking forward to uh, another duel in the front with uh, basically everybody that raced today. So looking forward to it. Here we are at the beautiful Glen Eden Beach for our doubles edition of the race after a very successful singles race yesterday. Um, sea is relatively moderate, not too much of a swell, slight easterly blowing. It's going to be a tough battle for most of the guys today, but what a great coastline to be on, a couple of whales out in the ocean, so it should be a great day out for the guys from out of town as well. Doubles paddling around the world is quite rare and something pretty unique to South Africa. Um, uh, the South Africans just absolutely love the team environment of doubles paddling. But the race organizers, Charles and his team at the Border Canoe Club, have made a great call. We're leaving from uh, Glen Eden Beach and heading down the beautiful Sunshine Coast. There's three points still to navigate um, with Yellow Sands, uh, Ganubi, and then past three sisters. I think the racing's gonna be super tight up in the front end of the field. Um, lots of action. Uh, we're gonna talk to some of the paddlers now about uh, uh, the race and uh, We'll uh, see you at the finish. Conditions are tough, uh, sun's out, uh, the water is absolutely stunning here on the coastline. Great piece of coastline of East London. Um, there's been some pods of whales swimming past, so we're going out to enjoy ourselves. Uh, there's a bit of swell, so we're hopeful that we'll make the highlight reel at the end of the race by cracking a, uh, a boomer back into the beach. The doubles for the sun race today, I'm not sure who we're up against but uh, we're going to flip and bury ourselves and leave it all out there. Today Holly and I are in the double for the first time ever, so we're really looking forward to having a fun day out. Conditions are beautiful, no wind, flat, so I think that's really going to play into our strength just coming off the back of World Marathon Champs. Um, and yeah, I think we're really excited to see how we go and maybe this is a combination for the future. Looking forward to paddling with uh, Josh again. The last time we raced was a freedom paddle, so we ended up second there. So. We're defending champions from last year for the Pete Marlin. Hopefully we can do it once again.
And uh, so we started a uh, pretty uh, good start. Everyone waded up pretty deep. Um, and then this sort of bunch of four or five boats formed, um, which is cut uncommon for the Cersei race but because it was so flat. Um, and then 4Ks, we saw a little opportunity, a little bit of a bump, um, and chased it for a little bit, and managed to get a little gap and just like cut as hard as we could to hold it, and managed to hold it. together sort of most of the way, uh, could have shared the pulls, I think we did the majority of the pulling um, and then we let uh, the others pull sort of I'd say about 12, 13 k's to go and then uh, Saskia and Holly came through like a sort of like a steam train almost. At the end they're like I'll never give up so yeah we were close, caught a wave with them and then we pushed it all the way to the beach. And, I highly recommend it to anyone that hasn't done it. International guys, come over and come and do it. Safe travel tonight, we're hitting the road tomorrow and full in next year. It's going to be better and bigger as you do each year. See you soon.